Today is a traveling day and since I'm going to be on planes and trains for almost 24 hours, I thought this episode would be perfect to talk about the results of my 30 day challenge. So if you didn't know, I recently decided to do a 30 day challenge on this channel where I decided to make one piece of short form video content every single day. And the reason for this was that I just wasn't happy with the growth on this channel. And like Einstein said, it's insanity to expect different results by doing the same old thing, so it was time to change things up. So going to this challenge, my plan is to post one piece of short form video content every single day on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Essentially with one piece of content, my goal was to grow three platforms all at once. And here were the results. After 30 days of posting, this is what happened. Well, that was all of a sudden. I usually don't have to change the trains to get to the airport, but this time I did. So I quickly noticed on my phone that, oh, I actually have a transfer to a new train. Luckily I made it. Ooh, this is much better. I will gladly accept this whole cabin for myself. So going into this 30 day challenge, I was really hoping that my YouTube channel would benefit most from this challenge but it was actually the total opposite. The platform that actually grew the most during this 30 day challenge was my Instagram account, which went from 48,000 followers to 60,400 followers in only 30 days. That's 12,400 new people following me on my Instagram account. And doing some quick math, that's over 25% growth in only 30 days. For me personally, this really just blew my mind because I feel like I've had some mental blocks when it came to Instagram and growth because I would post here and there a photo or or one reel, but nothing was really happening. It was really stagnant on my Instagram account and I kind of felt like it was just impossible to grow nowadays. But this 30 day challenge just proved me wrong that actually you can really grow your Instagram account, but you just have to grow it by creating short form content every single day. Oh, the video is rendering, but I still have like 10% left and we've arrived. I guess I just got to do the good old carry the laptop while I'm walking. I don't know. These are the moments where you wish you had three hands. I am carrying luggage, my laptop, and holding a tripod for vlogging all at the same time. This is just too much. <laughs> Eat the stuff. I've always been dreaming of the day when I could just travel with no camera bags, no laptops, just free hands just to chill. But uh, it is what it is, life of a creator. You gotta be creating on the go. Okay, find myself a little workstation here. I got 2% left to go on the export. And my next train leaves in three minutes to the airport. I think we might make it. And then I gotta quickly get this uploaded before I jump on the plane because I won't have Wi-Fi. So, whew, this is all going very tight. All right, successful export. Time to put this laptop away. And catch my last train of the day. This is train number three today already. And I got, ah! still two more flights to go today, so got a long journey ahead of us. Oh, maybe you're wondering where in the world I'm going. Today I'm actually heading all the way to San Diego to the Sony Camera Camp, which can be really exciting because it's gonna be this week-long event, hanging out with all your favorite YouTube content creators, and there's so many people that I've never met before, just messaged on Instagram or on YouTube, but First time ever I'm gonna be meeting and hanging out with all the guys and girls. So it's gonna be a good weekend. All right, let's get our bags checked in and then we're running to the lounge and then we're gonna talk about TikTok, the next platform. Bag checked, now it's time to get some snacks. Snacks are important when you got 20 hours of flying ahead of you. I swear they're not all for me. Also souvenirs, you know, for family members who I'm gonna be seeing in San Diego. All right, this is the point of the traveling where you're running around the airport with too many layers on and you're starting to sweat. This is not a good thing. Sweating is no good. That's the worst part about winter flying and traveling. You gotta have so many layers, jackets. Oh, that exposure's off. We'll make it though. Security went well. Bag did get denied, but it went through quickly. Now it's time to grab some lunch at the lounge because recently I have made, let's fix the exposure, 
Recently, I've made it to Thin Air Gold, meaning I get access to lounge. Small, nice little perk when you're traveling a lot, don't have to pay for food, go grab lunch, just relax until your flight is about to leave. I don't think I have much time though, so I gotta go quick. Look at this place, it's like a place from the future. We got these cool little egg chairs. This is one bar eating area. We got showers, which would be nice to use. I could take a shower now, but I don't have time because I'm really sweaty. And here we got all the food. The delicious salads, foods, and of course, some dessert with your coffee. So TikTok, if I'm brutally honest, I was not expecting much growth on TikTok, but I just thought, hey, why not? I'll just throw the short form videos as well on TikTok and see what happens. And starting off this challenge, I had about a thousand followers on TikTok. And then at the end of the challenge, I had 2,200 followers, which is quite a lot of growth, 1,200 new people on TikTok. Some of my most viewed short form videos was the one on skin tones, talking about if your skin tones are too orange, how to fix that. That had about 14,800 views. Another tutorial on the rule of thirds had 16,200 views. It's also interesting to compare short form content from one platform to the other. So on Instagram, one of my most watched short form videos was the 10 wedding poses. I think that got around 292,000 views, which is a lot. But then on TikTok, it performed quite poorly and actually got only a thousand views. So maybe there's just a whole lot more wedding photographers on Instagram and not on TikTok. I don't know, but it's just interesting to compare the analytics between the same piece of short form content and how it performed on different platforms. This is the coolest area of the Helsinki airport. See the screen all the way around? It's a simulation. Right now they're playing like a winter forest and they got little nature sounds. So you can just sit here and it feels like you're in the nature. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Now for YouTube, I had the most expectations when it came to growth. I was really excited to see how much would my YouTube channel grow after 30 days of posting YouTube shorts. But it actually didn't end up going as planned. After the 30 days, I really didn't see a change in subscriber growth. And as well, the YouTube shorts didn't get that many views. On average, each YouTube short would get around 1,000, 2,000 views. My best performing YouTube short was 9.7 thousand views for How to Take Portraits Yourself, and then 9.3 thousand views for best GoPro 11 settings. Now, for a lot of people who have grown their YouTube channel through YouTube shorts, I've heard that it took up to six months for their YouTube shorts to be picked up by the algorithm, and then all of a sudden, one YouTube short takes off, then all the rest start taking off. So I am interested to see six months down the road, will the 30 different different YouTube shorts pick up steam and get more views. I don't know, but that's the case right now when it comes to doing this 30 day challenge. The most growth I saw on Instagram, then TikTok and last place was YouTube. In the end, I'm actually not too upset because through this process, I was able to create a whole new workflow for creating short form content. And to be honest, I really enjoyed making the short form videos. So I think I will continue to make short form videos alongside these long form videos because I found it to be a nice balance of having short form content and long form content. And as well, just changing things up really got the creative juices flowing and I feel a lot more energized for the future of this channel and when it comes to creating content. I think they just called my name, so I need to go check into this flight. And off we go to Dallas. We're all in the sheep pen and boarding commences. Oh, that was tight. Just upload my video onto the channel and I'm about to go board on my flight to Dallas. One flight down, one more to go. All right, we got through security, customs, we've made it into America. One more flight to San Diego. It's a whole much longer process here in the States, but hopefully I make my flight. I got like 10, 15 minutes for boarding, so I should be okay. We made it. Last and final airport of the trip. San Diego Airport. Not sure what the official name is, but we've arrived. Will's helping a man out. He's just serving, serving, what? Is this our car for the day? Oh, this is us, this is us. When you come to America, it's always big cars. Will, thank you. Mr. Appreciate Stills, yes, sir. have a good day. 
You have a good one as well. Thanks. I'll see you next time. So what's fun about this weekend is not only do I get to meet a whole bunch of new YouTube creators, but as well, my brother flew in from Toronto to this event, which means we get to have a little bit of a brother reunion. So I'm gonna go say hi to him and also eat some food because I'm starving. Woo, palm trees. Gotta love them. I haven't seen my brother since like last summer. So it's always cool to see him after a long time. I guess when I think of like afterwards, I think it's like after lunch. So when other people are camping, like on a camp. 24 hours of travel. Reunited once again. Last time, summer. Yeah. Way too long. We have to come up with work things to hang out. Why is it so cold in San Diego? It's supposed to be warm here. That's what I thought. I thought I was coming through my beach holiday. <laughs> nope. We're gonna go surfing tomorrow, right? Oh yeah, there's big waves here. Wetsuit, no problem. I just 